In one of our previous videos, we talked about RAG in theory, like what is RAG, how it works under the hood. But today we are actually building a RAG chatbot which we can use for all sorts of real world purposes. You can plug this to your business website and it acts as a chatbot for your uh, business website. We have to train all our FAQs and customer uh, like uh, usual customer related questions into the database. And whenever someone comes to our website and asks like usual stuff like what is this, what's the price of that and what is your return policy. So this kind of stuff can be answered by our chatbot instantly. So if you are planning to build a rag chatbot, you can actually build this and sell to small businesses if they need one. Okay. But that's not all. We can also use this as our personal database or personal chatbot. Let's imagine we create a document with all our personal data, not too sensitive stuff like passwords or something like that, but uh, like usual day to day activities like bank account number or any long term reminders kind of stuff or any emergency numbers. So this kind of stuff, if we create a document and upload it to our database, and in this case, we can hook this to our Telegram or WhatsApp bot. And now whenever if someone asks, what's your account number, you don't have to worry about those, just go to the Telegram bot and ask what is my account number and it replies with the relevant info instantly. So this is one kind of personal use case in chatbots. And one of the biggest advantages of RAG chatbot is it doesn't hallucinate like regular chatbots too, like ChatGPT, DeepSeek, Gemini. These chatbots sometimes hallucinate, like if you ask something, they will give some other answer. Keep, they keep hallucinating stuff. So this makes RAG powerful because it gives fact-based answers directly related to our data. So yeah, we can build this for a business or for our personal use case as well. So now I'll give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to build this RAG chatbot in NA10. Let's go. So before we start the workflow, if you want to know more about RAG, like what is RAG, how it works under the hood, I already made a video on that, like all covering all the theory concepts of RAG. You can just watch that video for a more understanding. And that I'll just give you the link in the description or somewhere here on the screen. You can watch that. Today, in this video, I'm not going to cover all those things. I'll just concentrate on the workflow part. Okay. So here we have two parts. To one is for the database. So this is the database part, and the second part will be the uh, chatbot agent where we interact uh, with it to get the relevant uh, info. So the database will be will contain all our uh, uh, documents or whatever documents or whatever data we upload. It contains uh, in this part. Okay. So uh, we are using Google Drive uh, as a trigger. We have to. I just created a folder in uh, in my drive and named it as Rag Setup July 18 and uploaded a simple document which is personal info for this example. And one more thing, Rag works better with text or markdown format data. So if you have a PDF which uh, contains a lot of images or a lot of complicated stuff, it works, but it works better with text or markdown. That's what I mean. So I uploaded this PDF and. We are triggering, triggering the workflow whenever a, a file is created in our folder, it triggers the workflow and you have to connect your credentials and if you're using the cloud version, you don't have to worry about that. You have to just sign in and then you'll be good to go. But if you are using a local hosted version, you have to watch our previous video. I made a dedicated video on how to get the credentials, how to connect to NA10 if you are using a local hosted version. So you can watch that video. I'll put the link in the description as well. Okay. And the mode will be every time. Uh, you can keep whatever time you want. You can do that. And the trigger will be when whenever there is a change in the folder, then our workflow will trigger. For the folder, I just selected uh, the one I created before. And we have to watch for whenever file is created. We have a lot of options, but we have to watch whenever file is created. And if you click on this, our data will come and now comes the download part we have to again we are using the google drive node and the file will be resource will be the file and the operation will be download and here we are fetching the data by using id so you have to click here and click on id and you have to get that id you have to search for our file first uh, so this is our file and this is the id you have to drag and drop it over here and if you click on execute step, the file will be downloaded. And now comes the interesting part. So this is where we store our data. In this case, we are using Pinecone Vector Store. We have a lot of vector store actually. Let me show you. 
so this is the simple vector store which is n8 and spilt in vector store this is zep vector store and there is vb8 pine cone sopa base there's a lot of vector stores we can use whatever you want but most of the times you will see pine cone and sopa base because these are the popular ones uh, at least if you ask me i'll say these are the popular ones maybe some people will use vb8 vector store or other vector stores as well if you want to make uh, me if, if you want uh, me to make a video on super base vector store just let me know in the comments below i'll try to do that as well just we have to use super base instead of this pine cone vector store okay for using this pine cone vector store you have to create an account in pine cone just open, search for pine cone click on the first link just sign in with your email it is as simple as this just you have to sign in with your email and log in to pine cone so after adding the after adding the pine cone vector store here you have to set your credentials so for that you have to open pine cone api keys create api key give some name and after creating the key you have to copy that and you have to click here and just paste it over here and click on save you'll be good and the operation mode will be insert documents as we are inserting documents the pine cone index is something we have to create now or go to your pine cone home page and create index here we will create something as ssk rag and search uh, you have to select text embedding three small and the dimensions will be 15 36 and just everything will be as is click on create index you have to remember this text embedding three small so because we have to use that in the later part of our workflow so now we have our empty index so this is ready as of now so sometimes it takes a, a bit of time but most prob most of the times it uh, will be created instantly and now we have to select i don't know why it's not showing up yes we have to select as correct and we have to leave this as is and the pine cone namespace is uh, we can create here itself or we can create here in n8n so it's simple to create in n8n namespace is nothing but it, it is a folder inside our large database so it will be easy to get the data just we'll give some again as escape personal as a namespace and after this you have to connect the embedding um, embedding so if you remember we selected text embeddings three small we have to connect that here we are using open ai embedding just if you click here it uh, you have to search for open ai and you have to connect with your open ai key and the model will be text embedding three small okay that's it now comes the document if you click on here you have to select the default data loader in this default loader the type of data will be a binary the mode will be load all input data data format will be automatically detect by mime type and the text splitting will be custom that we have to add here and now the comes the text splitter we have to select recursive text splitter we have one more text splitter uh, which is character text splitter so text splitting is nothing but it divides the data into chunks of data so character text splitter is uh, the regular one but the recursive character text splitter is a bit of advanced kind of smart text splitter which can split the data into paragraphs sentences or even characters uh, if needed okay so that is uh, about text splitter and now our part one is ready so the, our database is actually ready so if we click here on execute our data will be executed and as you can see we got all the data and it will be automatically populated to our pine cone as you can see we got the data okay okay now comes the part two here we'll set up our chatbot ai with an ai agent where we interact with it to get the relevant info so first we'll add our ai agent and we are writing a prompt here which is nothing but like you are an ai assistant designed to analyze and to answer questions based strictly on uploaded documents these documents may contain personal information business policies or privacy related content so basically you can have a look at this uh, it is nothing bad we i'm saying you have to answer only the 
related to that uh, uploaded document and do not hallucinate and give only fact-based answers that uh, anyway i'm going to give the prompt and the json file in the description so you can just download it and upload it to your n810 uh, workspace then you'll be good to go so this is how uh, i wrote the prompt and depending on the documents and our requirement we can tweak this prompt as we like okay and we have to connect the chat model here we are using gpt 4 we can use uh, some lower model because uh, in this case the mod uh, our data is not so complicated we can use some gpt 4.1 mini or 4 mini is good okay the memory will be the simple memory which is an items in built memory where we it helps us to remember the previous conversation here the context window length will be five uh, which would be fine actually okay. and now we have to connect the answer questions with a vector store tool here we'll say returns documents related to my personal info so just we are letting this know that you have to like it returns the documents related to my personal info and we have to connect a chat model and we have which is open uh, again same gpt 4 and OpenAI account and the vector store will be the same you have to connect your vector store which we created in this uh, in our previous part one uh, you have to connect with the credentials and the operation mode here will be if you remember in that uh, part one we inserted the documents here we have to retrieve the documents as vector store for chain tool okay and the pinecone index will be ssk rag and the namespace will be also the same and again we'll connect the embeddings text embedding three small open ai okay uh, now our chatbot is ready we can actually use telegram here to chat with the bot or we can use whatsapp we can embed this to the website and you know we can do whatever we want to chat for now we'll chat in n in itself hi let's ask what is my name hi what is my name okay it says sandeep kumar which is perfect and now let me ask what is my other number what is my other number So it gave my other number and let's ask all my bank account bank account details. Give me all my bank account details. As you can see, it gave all my bank account details. So yeah, it's working as expected. So we can do whatever we want we can uh, you know if you are running a business we can upload all our faqs privacy policies written policies everything into that uh, database and we can embed this to our website and if someone comes and asks what is the written policy and it automatically gets the relevant info and accurate info and if like whatever questions are the most asked questions by the customers it can do that so yeah this is all about the chat uh, rag chat bot i think everything was good i'll give you the json file and the prompt everything in the description below feel free to check that out you just have to click here and import from file and then you have to import that file you'll be good to go and if you are a business person looking for implementing ai into your business uh, like these chat bots or any kind of ai automations feel free to check our website i gave the link in the description below book a free call we can brainstorm the ideas and think about how to improve your business okay so that said i'll see you in the next one and i'll try to make videos as quickly as possible thank you for watching bye